guys to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have my first for 2022 b&m haul i am kind of getting into the swing of vlogging a little bit more i've been vlogging behind the scenes i'm going to start uploading a few more vlogs and i might start incorporating these hauls within those vlogs but i have been shopping to b&m to pick up a couple of bits and ended up coming out with three big bags full so far too much to include within a vlog so i thought i'd sit down and share everything i did get with you guys so make sure if you haven't already to get yourselves a nice cozy drink and put your feet up relax and i hope you enjoy today's video i'm just gonna have a sip of my drink first before we get started so i'm actually having one of the pucker teas the wild apple and cinnamon flavor it's delish and it is actually snowing outside, so I'm feeling very cozy. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this down and let's jump into it. The first things first, I'll show you the biggest item that I picked up at 15 pounds from the bathroom storage collection. They sell this along with a smaller one at 10 pounds where you just get the one row. And it's essentially an over the door shelf tidy type thing with these hooks as well that you can hang i guess the intention is bathrobes towels that kind of thing i'm actually not going to be using this in a bathroom i'm going to be using this downstairs in our kind of like pantry area before going outside so that i can throw some dog leads poo bags i can hang barney's towels on there as well which he has by the back door so it's just going to be a useful kind of tidy so i picked that up i also picked up this which you may have seen in my amazon haul that i've just uploaded i have purchased one of these um storage bags for wrapping paper and gift cards and everything like that i do like to keep a stockpile brown craft paper is something that i used quite a lot in christmas wrapping so i decided to pick up another one of these they were only one pound fifty they call it packing paper but i like to use this brown craft paper with like really nice ribbons like velvet green ribbons or burgundy whatever it is even white ribbon just on plain brown paper i think it looks lovely i also picked up these at four pounds waterproof stay dry gloves for days like today where it is snowing or raining outside and we're taking the dog out i don't actually have any waterproof gloves so i thought these would be really handy for that and also keep my hands nice and toasty as well i saw this and i had to pick it up and again you might have seen in my amazon haul i actually have some that aren't handled from amazon that are like this and they are the double walled coffee mugs that b&m do from their natural sanctuary range only three pound fifty i thought was a great price point for this they're basically double walled so it keeps them insulated so it keeps your drinks cold for, co for longer and warm for longer depending on whether or not you've got a hot or cold drink i just think they look really nice to be completely honest with you so i picked one of those up for myself and then i also got loads of storage bits for the fridge i'm going to have a good clear out and clean of our fridge and i've seen these at one pound fifty each they are stackable and they are also drainage they've got the drainage holes at the bottom so i've seen that fresh fruit and veg when you buy it you should or it lasts longer if you take it out of the packet and wash it and then pop it in these to store in your fridge so i'm going to try doing that i also spotted this in the clearance section well the special buy section at five pounds and it's a set of three fridge storage drawer organizers so you've got the larger one on the bottom and then you've got this medium sized one and this smaller thinner one for things like cans if you have like me a fridge full of diet coke or bottles of water or even just bottles like condiment bottles would be really useful to store them in that so yeah three pack for five pounds i thought was a good price you may have seen from a previous b&m haul that i did last year my last b&m haul i got these ribbed glasses in the wine glass and finally our b&m have got the uh, highball glasses as well which obviously you can use as a long glass for cocktail but also even just as a water glass i think these look really lovely they look like the firm living ones except these ones are only two pounds each i wish they did a carafe in this as well like the firm living ones then you could get a full set and maybe even have them in a spare bedroom if you're having guests over to have a carafe with one of these i just think it looks so lovely and expensive so i did actually get a set of four of these i got another one of these well i say yak choose the yak choose are the expensive ones b and do the affordable alternative cheese bone for barney he munches on these for ages they do last a while but he goes through these ones quicker that's why i tend to opt for the yak chew ones but the yak chews are like 
10, 11 pounds. These ones are, they do smaller ones at 2.99 and I think these ones are 4.99. I saw these in the cleaning section. They are bamboo self-adhesive hooks at 2 pound 50 with the actual hook being in black. I thought these would look great either on the back of a door to hold your dressing gowns, towels, that kind of thing, but also on the inside of cabinets for like under your sink for holding your microfiber cloths or your tea towels. And I did also pick up these set of two wire baskets again for under the sink at five pounds for the set of two. They are handled as well and they're quite deep so you can get some microfiber cloths in there, some cleaning products or use these in a bathroom. I guess storage is key when it comes to having an organized space. I also picked up these from the food section, Quaker rolled oats. These are just the plain whole grain, 100% whole grain ones, which are the most healthy. So myself and Tom, I'm not really a porridge eater. I wish I was because it sounds so cozy, but I've just, I've tried it. I just don't like it. I do, however, like overnight oats or baked oats in particular are my favorite with some cinnamon and banana. So I'm going to be making myself some of those on a more regular basis for a bit of a healthier alternative for breakfast. And then I also picked up another lighter, £1.50. My Amazon one that I bought a while back just doesn't seem to work properly. Um, so I'm back to the good old lighter at £1.50 from B&M. They also have in the pet section a new range of cleaning products by the brand Poor Beauty. They had a bubble bath, which, oh my God, imagine giving your dog a bubble bath. They also had like a shampoo and then a gentle shampoo for puppies. And then I got this because I'm in need of another one of these. It's a soothing nose and pore balm for dogs. This one is in the scent aloe and cucumber, so it smells nice and fresh. I'm going to whiz through the food bits because they're kind of boring, <laughs> let's face it. I got some of these snack pot Heinz beans. I just like to stock up on my tuna from B&M because it seems to be the most affordable place, B&M and Home Bargains. So I got the tuna chunks in spring water because then Barney can have them as a treat every once in a while. If you get the brine, it's a bit too salty, or the sunflower oil, I suppose you could get, but um, I just go for the spring water, it's the healthiest. And then I also got three of these John West on the go. They've changed the packaging since I've last bought them, but um, they're just a super easy lunch on the go. One of your five a day, they're under 250 calories, and they're high in protein as well, so 18 grams of protein. I've got the French tuna pasta salad, the lime and black pepper tuna pasta salad. And then I did also get this one, which is the tomato and olive one as well. With tuna, I also like to sometimes do a little tuna sweet corn combo for sandwiches, wraps, and I just picked up this three pack of Green Giant Original Naturally Sweet Sweet Corn. I also picked up one of these Fry Light sprays. These are a calorie per spray, so a nice alternative to using loads of olive oil for as and when you're cooking or in salads and things. And then I also got these again for salads. Tom loves these, so I picked up these mainly for him, but they are a jar of roasted red peppers. He loves these again on salads and wraps, that kind of thing, just for a nice lunch. I picked up a two pack of strong brown packing tape, only a pound. I also got a Dr. Beckman's pet stain and odor remover, a one of these cleaning brush solution type things. These are really good for getting stains out carpets but also upholstery sofas chairs that kind of thing i also got this from the cleaning section this was still out it's one of the festive range of the bin buddies these powders that you just sprinkle on top of your bins as and when you've maybe thrown food away just to keep it smelling fresh just sprinkle a little bit of this every once in a while in the bin and this is my favorite one they do in the orange and cinnamon again talking dog walks in the snow and the rain and wind and everything i saw this in the same section that i found the thermal waterproof gloves i also saw this shower proof balaclava so shower proof and it says storm proof as well rain snow wind fleece lined balaclava for comfort and warmth designed to keep the bad weather out so on those days that it's particularly bad to have this as an extra layer underneath your walking gear um yeah i just decided to pick this up and in fact by the time you're watching this video we will be in the lake district probably battling the elements because we are going for a couple of nights away and i've bought some new walking shoes getting all the gear and just fully preparing myself for the winter weather. So five pounds I thought was a good price point for that. I also got some new cutlery, again, as part of my kind of kitchen clear out. In fact, I might even film a kitchen clear out video because I have a lot to do. 
Fridge is one job, but also the cutlery drawer is just, there's no organization. It's a bit hectic. Mismatched cutlery is really doing my head in. So I'm gonna scrap it all, start again. And um, I picked up two sets of these. So they're 16 piece, four of each. So I always like to have eight of each. So I did get a second set as well. So they're all gonna be matching, which honestly makes me so happy. These are dishwasher safe as well, which I always look out for in cutlery. And I like the shape of the spoon and the fact that it's half gold, half black. I also got some AA batteries that we were in need of. I actually got two packets of them. I feel like after Christmas with the wreath and the garland and things that all have about eight AA batteries. We now have none left for our remote control. So yeah, picked up them. I also picked up these for our wrapping bag, my wrapping bag that I've got for wrapping paper cards and everything. And they are just some tie-on tags in these neutral tones, just plain brown craft paper, again, to go with that wrapping paper that I bought previously, and just a plain standard white one as well. The last thing that I picked up from Batiste, favorite of mine, dry shampoo. I usually go for the original, but they didn't have any in. And I don't think I've ever tried this one before. It's the Sweetie scent, which is sweet melon. So let's just spritz a bit now and see what I think to the smell because I've never tried it. So I just pop a bit in my roots like this. Oh yeah, that does smell nice. It doesn't smell, I was worried it was gonna be a bit too sweet, but it doesn't seem to be too sweet, so. A little bit fruity as well. So there we have it. That is everything that I have picked up recently from B&M. Hope you enjoyed this haul. Thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for more kind of snippets in store over on my TikTok, which I'm going to start uploading more of this year, along with my Instagram homeware account, Fro Farrington Home. You can find me on TikTok at Freya Farrington. Can't believe I'm saying that. I'll leave all my socials a link below if you did want to see me on a more daily basis for more regular updates. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.